All right, let's do some watch this jerks. That's what we need. We need to do watch this jerks. Yeah. What do we got? I watched a Christmas movie over the weekend. You did. I watched Violent Night, the David Harbour as Santa Claus Die Hard Santa movie. Mm. Mm-hmm. It's it was pretty good. I enjoyed that movie. Okay. I recommend it. I think uh Cheapy might not hate it. <sighs> it's under two hours <sighs> and it has a lot and it does have a lot of violence in it. But Chibi I'm, isn't into violence. I like I mean, some he, he, violence. It's 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 a cartoonish very, violence. I like it's cartoonish, very eighties. It's a very eighties. How's style. the kung fu though? There is no kung fu. Mm. There's maybe some fight. There's some fighting. There's some fisticuffs in there, but I wouldn't call it kung fu. And there's a. I don't want to spoil it. There was one scene that I thought was very clever that I think. Uh, I'm gonna spoil. I don't, yeah, no, I'm not gonna. But I won't spoil it. But I think it did. A, I think they did a good job with that movie. That movie was better than it had any right to be. Cool. Based on the premise, I'm not saying it's high art. Don't get me wrong, but I enjoyed it. Nice. I watched um, Black Panther two. Oh, okay. Oh, what'd you think? Wakanda Boogaloo. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, the plot doesn't make any sense. I was. It was interesting. I I, I thought like. It was a little more creative than some of the other Marvel movies. Some of the scenes were just, I don't know, more artistic maybe, but... The, it's the, a nice... I mean, the Black Panther, yeah. that They're the more artistic of the Marvel mm-hmm. Cinematic Universe. Yeah. Yes. The, for a minute, you might forget you're watching one. But the plot, it was just like, we can't do better than this. Like, I mean, they got thrown a pretty difficult curveball there to the- I understand with, right? that but I like I know I still think they should have it re- just replaced Chadwick Boseman with a new Black Panther. I I I sorry, just get it. I love Chadwick Boseman. I rewatched 42 not that long ago. I I loved loved him as an actor and everything he was in. I but even he when he was getting near the end was like publicly said they should replace him and I think they should have, you know, followed, done his wishes and replaced him i don't and think made that, a better movie well i don't think that's what's the, the fact that they had well i don't want to spoil anything but you know i don't think the fact that the black panther is not like a guy matters or anything i don't, I don't think that's spoiling anything i yeah. um i mean i didn't i would manage to avoid a, like everything about it this was on movie. the movie posters it's okay oh, okay yeah. <laughs> um yeah it, they're toys it's not a it, don't worry about right them. right i just feel like the the whole you know i the the namor fish people I, don't I mean, know. it had a coherent storyline for a Marvel movie. Just like we have to kill this person. Yeah. I don't, it's just like that's the plot, and like no other person can do what she does. So if we kill this person, that's going to solve very, all our problems. It was, so it's like, come yeah. on, can we spend like a little more time coming up with the central driving it's point behind McGuff, the movie? It's a MacGuffin heavy movie. The crime Which, Dog? No, not McGruff. MacGuffin. Oh. You know what a MacGuffin is. Don't pretend you don't. Uh, it's a MacGuffin heavy movie uh, because they wanted to tell a, a different, they wanted to tell the story of Shuri and they wanted to tell the story of Namor and they needed a vehicle to move it along. So this is the MacGuffin they came up with. That's yes, a little trite, but it's, it's what it's the vehicle that services the journey. I appreciated that. I just had come back from Mexico and it had that like theme of the fish people. Are you calling all Mexicans fish people? That no, but that's where racist. they came from. They came from like the, the Aztec or or mm-hmm. Mayan. I'm not sure what, but mm-hmm. I didn't, didn't follow that closely. But they were playing the sport with the where the ball off the hip goes through the hoop mm-hmm. underwater. Yes. Mm-hmm. So I was like, oh, I saw that. Anyway, it was all right. Oh, and somebody wanted to know um, at, oh, Ben. Ben r- writes in and he wants to know if Wombat cried no. during the movie. No. At any point, or at least no. well up. No. Any, no wetness, no moisture. No, no. The yeah. humidity did not that change in front is, of your that eyes. That movie is about as emotional as Violent Night is. No, but the, the dead guy and stuff, you know, and so on. Yeah, he's dead. I get it. They should right. have replaced him with another actor. If, they, if they're going to replace William Hurt with Harrison Ford, they could have replaced Chadwick Boseman with someone. I, I'm just saying it's not the first time someone's died and they just right. Plop, of course, not, yeah. of course. I don't know that that necessarily hurt the movie, but the only thing I could think of when they do the like you know, the Marvel title sequence and they do that like silent, mm-hmm. yeah, silent, that was cool. 
that was cool. But the only thing I could think of was red letter media doing their thing about like star Wars, like please clap. Yeah. And like title, you know, we originally a different title sequence. I appreciate and, you. I don't know. I just picture that guy's voice in my head. And to the people, the, I guess a Dolomite and anyone cool, else in, it was in, a good the, tribute. in the chat that that's explaining why he wasn't replaced. I know why he wasn't replaced. I'm just saying I think it would have been a better movie if he was. I don't I don't think it's that controversial an opinion. It was cool whatever. that they had like a tribute to him at the beginning and the end. Yes. That was yes. nice. Yes. You're like, oh, is that all he gets? No, he gets a little. Yeah. Did There's you hear cool about theirs? Yeah. The, on the Disney Cruise Lines, when they do the Black Panther stage show, they have Black Panther from another, Imagine. from a multi, it's a multiverse Black Panther who comes out. He goes, I'm Black Panther from, from the multiverse. <laughs> right. Because we need okay. representation. Because <laughs> kids want to see Black Panther. I mean, yeah. yeah. It's, it's like Black Kilowatt. Panther. Mm-hmm. It's like, you know, anyway. But whatever. What else? Uh, what else are you? Are, right, so I, it looks I like, watched a couple things. Yes. I see that. Looks like I, I watched a movies? movie from 1988 called Ghost Town from 1988. Okay, yes. so it's not the Ricky Gervais. No, rom-com. no, no, no. This is the the horror movie. The uh, set in set in the old west. Don't know. Have it. you have you never you've never seen Ghost Town before? No, this is oh, new okay. to me. So Ghost Town, it's not good. I but, does not surprise me. But it is a the plot of it is. A a woman gets kidnapped, like her car breaks down in the, in the middle of the desert in in modern 1988. She gets kidnapped uh, by some outlaw ghosts that uh, have been running this uh, this town, and all the citizens of the town are also ghosts that are still like under control of these outlaws. Outlaw ghosts. Outlaw ghosts. Uh-huh. Yes. God, they couldn't even catch a break. They died, and it's like they the same fucking still, shit. Yeah, it's the same stuff. Oh and my you can God. be like in different levels of death, too. Like you can die you can more. Like, you mean and you have can even, die more? Yeah. Have it even worse. You can have it worse. Oh man. And so then there's a sheriff that comes back that, or that, that from 1988 that is chasing her into the past town. And oh. has to deal with these outlaws. Oh, future. He's a he's a future there, sheriff fighting any, ghost are outlaws. Are there any names of note in this movie? Absolutely not. How do you find not, this movie? I was gonna say, how did you find this one? It was on TV. I, uh, that's not good enough. On, I'm on sorry. Comet, on Comet. What is that? That's like your favorite network. It is because it has crap like this. It oh has the God. crap. I, I I like watching these old, just kind of crappy movies. I think Just, that's like, it's not like a Shout Factory TV channel. Is that what it is? I, I mean, means. a similar type of. Uh, yeah. I'm trying to think though. if it's an actual Shout Factory TV network or if it's just, if I'm just making that up, this which is very made, possible. This movie made $75,000 in the box office. <sighs> Are you just like, like, you know, like you have like four beers deep at this point when you're finding these movies to watch? Is that what's happening? Uh, not that many beers deep. Three, but two and a half. Because like I don't know. something has to be like pushing you check, in the direction. Check out Ghost Town. No, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. What else? Uh, I also watched uh, Jojo Rabbit, the Taika Waititi Nazi movie. I did. It's good. I yeah. want to watch like that. It? I feel. Uh, have you seen it? Mm, no. No, I just never got around to it. Okay. Interesting. I figured I was behind the game. On no, I just on this one. you know. I want it to. It sort of came and went, so I just, just you know, these it's, things happen. It's pretty good. Um, it's a, it's a comedy, but also at the same time, there's definitely stuff in there like, oh, this is, this is making me uncomfortable, like on purpose, like right. right? Um, but the the boy actor in it, he does a great job. Like it's not a cringy, like oh, there's kids acting. Like mm. he does a legitimate job with it um so yeah i don't know i figured you guys had seen it i i think it's worth watching it's not like stellar film making but right. it's clever yeah it's it's kind of like he's witty yeah it's got a little bit of uh like wes anderson style to it as well but i don't know more more stuff that makes you cringe 
than a than a Wes Anderson movie. Hmm. Yeah, not all of his stuff is lands sometimes. This one's pretty. It most of it lands pretty well. It's just there's some parts where where it gets a little bit like, oh, I didn't sign up for this level of heaviness. Yeah, in, that's probably what stopped me from Nazi watching it. Movie. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. So. Cool. Yeah. What about on the TV side? I watched Poker Face. Did anyone else watch Poker Face? Good Lady Gaga song. It is a good Lady Gaga song. It's also a TV series starring Natasha Leone on Peacock. I think it's on Peacock. Uh, written and some episodes are directed by Ryan Johnson of uh, Glass Onion fame, Knives Out, and that Star Wars movie that's universally loved by everybody. Um, <laughs> he writes a good detective story. Like that's, I think, I feel like that's not a controversial statement. Um, this is a throwback show similar. It's a, it's a crime of the week show. So, you know, it's an hour long there. It's, it's done Columbo style. There's a murder at the beginning. You know, who did it right from the start. It's not it, just like Columbo and, but it's really watching Natasha Leone's character solve the mystery. You're watching her, Play every play the right a, people. She for has fools. superpowers, right? It's not that she has superpowers. She could just tell when someone's lying. That's a superpower. It's the conceit of the show. It's like, <laughs> it's, yeah, like think of it more like a Knight Rider style, right? Super, yeah. He had a superpower car. Yeah, yeah. It's just a, it's a gimmick. The show has a gimmick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's pretty. It's it's really good. Again, it it works on that level. It's I. It reminds me. Probably the most of the Hulk TV show where it's David Banner going to a different town each week where he just doesn't want to get, make himself. He doesn't want to cause a scene. He just wants everything to be nice and quiet. He doesn't want to have to deal with anybody. And then someone needs his help. And because he's a good guy, he winds up helping somebody. And then right, he said, and this is just no Hulk. You should have just but stayed in one spot, like find a good spot and just stay there. Yes. Well, there's they explain in the show why in this show why that's not possible. Right. So, but it's a really good show. Like it's really well made. It's really entertaining. Uh, some really fun actors in it. It's worth your time. It's gonna take a lot more than that to get me to sign up for Peacock. I told you. I know. It's a bummer. It's a shame. I wish things were just on television. Like if they put this show on NBC, it would, everyone would be talking about it. I'm signing up for Comet. Power. Just what? Throw that on Comet. Yeah, they should put it on Comet. If you they sure they have space Comet, for it on there? I don't know. It seems oh my really god, I forgot I, had a jalap I diced a jalapeno before and I just touched my eye and now I'm going to die. Yep. Go go on, just keep talking. Oh my god. Yeah, why are you doing that? Stop touching uh, your face. Right. Well, you, no, now I just have my hand over it so you don't see my eye. But your hand is what had the jalapeno. Yeah, what are you doing? It. No, it's not the hand, it was the fingers. Oh my god, let me see your eye. <laughs> oh my god, it's green. Sounds about right. Do I still have no eyebrows? What happened to your eyebrows? They turned gray, and now I, it looks like I don't have eyebrows anymore. Right. It's all you worrying about fucking J.K. Rowling. Turned you gray. Dude. This game, like, took a year off your life, I feel. You're not even involved with it. I know. Uh, TV. Oh, we started watching the new Netflix hit, Physical 100. Do you know that? I don't. <clears throat> it's a Korean show. Okay, okay, you lost me already. It's Battle Royale. Uh -huh. You've lost me. No, it's again. not Battle Royale, but it's a it's a physical competition where they start with a hundred people who are like very strong men and women, and they're all from they're from Korea, most of them. And they're all like champions, like wrestling champion, MMA champions. Like there's a there's a base uh, a former major league baseball player who now plays in Korea. He's a pitcher. I don't know his name, but he's very tall. He's like two meters oh, tall. Oh, tall. Two meters, huh? Yeah. It's you're, like you're, six, six. You're on the meters high? Well, they're, yeah. they, I'm watching the show the, in Korea. Shipwreck uses the metric system now. What? They use it in he, Korea. Mm -hmm. It's it's like six, seven, maybe? Six, six? No, no, six, six. Anyway... It's pretty cool. Like they have, they'll, they have uh, different competitions and they fight each other. And it's about each episode is about ten to fifteen minutes too long. But other than that, it's very well done. 
and you can watch very fit people um, like wrestle each other and have various competitions like hanging from a bar and stuff like that. It's good. It's probably a lot of people watching it. We also finished watching Irma Vet on HBO. It was very good, but it's not Shanna Fan approved. This is not for Shanna Fan. It's pretty, it's a lot of talking and you're not sure what's going on all the time. Well, he, if it's not wrestling, it's not. Uh... <laughs> There's no wrestling in it whatsoever. Yeah. <laughs> it's mostly like people talking and you worrying about their characters. Uh, but it's good. It's good. And that's it. What else? Someone else is watching something. I, I've been watching. So I, I've watched the first two uh, seasons of Mythic Quest before. Mm -hmm. And now the third season's out. I got to watch one episode of the third season, but Mrs. Shipwreck was in the room and she enjoyed it. So now I'm watch rewatching seasons one and two of Mythic Quest. Oh, she's got to do that on her own time. Come on. <laughs> Look, she's got to wake up early. Right. Well, can't she I mean, watch can it when she's exercising? You put that or, on when you're on the... Or she, um, she can iPad it on the can. Can't she do that? That's not classy. She could. Women I don't, don't it's do a that. Good, it's a good yes, show. I know neither one of you have, have watched any of it. It's you, it's on a service you have. It's on Apple TV. That's the gaming development one. It's the gaming development one. But it the best episodes are when it's not directly gaming related and it's just more office workplace humor. It's got a good cast of characters on it. What was that wrestling movie from the 80s? Rob Lowe, Mystic Quest? Quest? Something like that? Wasn't there some wrestling movie? Mystic. Oh, Vision Quest. Vision Quest. Vision That's Quest. it. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. you uh, was that Rob Lowe? Uh, it's that Rob Lowe. I thought it was Matthew Modine, but I could be wrong. I don't think it's Rob Lowe. Matthew Modine. Yep. Yeah. It is You're Matthew right. Modine. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, and it has Cox. a Madonna song in it. Yeah. <laughs> and it shows up on my recommended watch list on a daily basis on Google TV. <laughs> you would watch that, Robbie. Yeah, I would. It's if it right was there. on Comet, it's you would watch it. I'm sure it is on Comet, actually. <laughs> Is it Daphne Zuniga in that one, or am I, or am I making that up too? I don't know. Is there a good jerk off material in that, or what? I don't. Feel, I don't think so. I feel like uh, the comet version. I feel, <laughs> I feel like I'd be more familiar with it if it was. 